I've gone hoodie on you. Listen, the honest truth is I've recorded this video and it just, just, I didn't like it. And then there was like a hair flying in front of my face and as I was editing it, I was having just a moment and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna re-record it, so here I am. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to greener and cleaner beauty. And I am back today, again, but you don't know that, but I know that. Well, now you know that, whatever. With the review for the 100% Pure Second Skin Conceal Arena. I have this in the shade two. Gave it a shot, I'm gonna run you through what I liked, what I might not have liked, and my final verdict. Stick around and let's get into it. Quick disclaimer, I purchased this. No one's paying me to say any of the following. You're getting my honest review and opinion. Just sharing with you so you can figure out whether or not this is something you should consider or pass on. And I'll give you alternates if I think you should pass, depending on what you're looking for in the product. Okay, let's get into the review. This concealer right here is $29. It has seven shades available. And here's what it claims to do, be, have, whatever. It is supposed to be for all skin types and provide a medium to full coverage, a silky feel, and a satin finish. Effortlessly blendable and buildable. It's supposed to be like Weight and kind of do everything. They talk about how it does spot concealing, contouring, highlighting, and it's just good all over your face. So are those things true? I will tell you, it starts with ingredients. I have all of the ingredients that I looked up on EWG, and if I saw something that made me go, hmm. And I looked up elsewhere because the EWG is not the end-all be-all. Sometimes it can just be a little too intense, so I like to, you know, kind of dig in further. But anyway, I found Japanese honeysuckle. That was the main sort of, hmm, Gets a bad rap, it mimics uh, parabens, things like that. I'm not gonna dive into all the details there, I will put it below and I'll give you some links so you can explore further. It's about what you feel comfortable with. I'm not saying that you have to do 100% green and clean, that's not the basis of the channel, that's not what I believe in. I just think, you know, fewer, better, smarter choices for whatever you're putting on your skin, on your face, and on your body. There you go, my spiel. Overall, for ingredients, I think it looked really solid. That's all I have to say about that coverage. So, does the coverage live up to its promises. This was kind of interesting to me because I would say it's more of a medium than a full coverage. I will talk about building in a second, but off the bat, it felt more of a medium coverage. It did slide on. I did feel like it was silky. It wasn't the silkiest texture I have felt. Some of them just tend to be way more silky. Some of the reasons for that are the addition of dimethicone, which my skin doesn't like. This doesn't have dimethicone in it, but anyway, I wanted to let you know that it feels silkier than some other ones that feel potentially more pasty that are medium coverage. Sometimes they're heavier weight, but this really was a lighter weight formula. And while it covered, I wouldn't say that this was super brightening. I have a link to a concealer video that I can share with you if you wanna explore what I thought to be more of a brightening option in terms of cleaner concealers out there. Overall, coverage is really solid here. I did not work so well for spot treatment. I don't know why. Also around the face, it just wasn't like amazing. However, under the eye and then it blended into kind of the top of the cheek where sometimes I have redness. Worked totally fine for me and blended it. I received a three out of five on the scorecard. Next is pretty much my favorite question. Does skin still look like skin when you apply this? Now, some people don't want that. They just want full coverage, full glam, like just cover me up. I don't like that. So it's kind of a personal preference. Reference. However, does skin still look like skin after applying this? I would say yes. It looked like I was wearing concealer. It's going to. I have to give it the benefit of the doubt there. Had that satin finish. What was interesting here is I didn't feel the need to set it. Now I have combination skin. I do not have a lot of oil under the lid or on top of the lid. However, if you do and you're looking for something and you use it in conjunction with a primer or setting, then this was really interesting for me. I could have gone without setting it. And as a matter of fact, I have done that a couple of times when I was wearing this and testing it. And that's kind of a big deal because that I, I don't really think I ever say that. So that was a selling point here. However, when I put it on in case I like say I wanted to build a little bit, I would press it in with my finger. The brush didn't really, that wasn't the best option for me. But when I press it in with my finger, there were instances where if I had anything else on, it would sit a little bit on top. So a wet sponge or a damp sponge really helped with it. But you kind of had to zhuzh and do a few things. It just wasn't as simple and simple sleek and like melting into the skin as I normally like. Overall, I would say for a natural looking coverage, it received a four out of five. Is this an irritating formula? No, I don't have anything else to say besides that. So don't see a lot of ingredients in here that would normally irritate sensitive skin. Take a look just because different things can be harmful to different skin types, but overall it got a five out of five on the scorecard. Okay, so blending and building. Blending, check. It did its thing, it blended well, except for spot treatment, but under the eye, on the lid, 
did prime good job building is where I really just didn't see a lot of oof. that's why I said it sits at a medium coverage for me building to full wasn't necessarily working that satin finish translates in my mind every time I use something that says it has a satin finish it looks a little bit more matte on the skin which again for oily skin types could be a benefit but for me it was fine it just didn't I couldn't build on top of it as well as I would like to because it's just started looking not so great so I received a three out of five on the scorecard shade range seven shades not mad at it it's not like the greatest thing in the world but I think it's a decent amount so it received a three out of five on the scorecard there and then the final question is this a consciously created product plastic plastic that side of things which I hate saying this but per the norm is not really where it needs to be um, I need to look into whether this is recyclable or not but how easily recyclable is it sometimes these things have multiple components and the consumers not gonna be like okay well then I'll take dough foot applicator out of the cap and then I'll just I'll rinse this out and make sure you take the sticker off it's still too hard and too cumbersome so I do feel like it's the responsibility of the person selling the product to make sure that they know what to do after the consumer uses it still we're not there so it's hitting about half of it because it is multi free which I'm happy about. Okay, so overall there, I got a three out of five. It's just not where it needs to be on packaging. And at the end of it all, the final score for this concealer is a pretty good 21 out of 30 for concealers as far as what I've reviewed. I think the standout qualities here are that I didn't need to set it. It's a nice medium coverage and that satin finish is also wonderful in the sense that it is it too mattifying or drying, but it's very lightweight. So you don't have to add something to set. And where I'm going there is, if you have fine lines, then you have less of a chance of having more product on your face and having it settle into fine lines. So I think this might be something that's viable for those looking for products that don't settle necessarily into fine lines. You still gotta zhuzh it, you gotta do your thing, you have sponge, whatever. It's not perfection, but I do think that it caters more to that. Medium coverage, yes. Less of a natural melt-in look. I talk about that in my favorite concealers video, so you can check out what I recommend there. And would I recommend it to a friend? Yeah, but honestly, I've had this for a couple weeks and I haven't kept reaching for for it. What I have reached for is the Ilia Serum, True Skin Serum Concealer. I've reached for my Hit Duet Perfecting Concealer. But in terms of doe foot applicator concealers, I've been reaching for the Ilia. It just glides on and it gives me a little bit more brightening. Now, a part of that is not because of this formula. I want to be really, really clear. It is because of the shade that I got. I think that's why, like, I don't know. I don't like catch myself when I'm in the middle of doing it. But if this was a tad lighter, okay. But if it goes too light, it doesn't work. So 100% pure, I've had trouble shade matching on. It's the one brand where I just kind of like go off kilter. I don't know. It's like I black out. Like, what am I doing? I'm not shade matching correctly. But anyway, I just wanted to be as honest and upfront as possible there. I would recommend it. It's just not my favorite concealer right now, doe foot applicator. It still performed really well. And I think for the people looking for what I mentioned, this could be a very solid contender for you. There you go. That's all I have for this review. Hope you found it helpful. If you've tried this and it's worked for you, let us know. If it hasn't, let us know. And if you have any application tips, keep us posted and share your skin type um, because that always helps give context. That's the review for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up to support the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you right back here testing out something else real soon. Until then, bye.